Okay, so here's a tougher question for you. This one's got all kinds of absolute values all over it and all kinds of weirdness. Well, you know what? Remember what I said, treat the absolute values as brackets. So look at this one. Do this bracket first, right? Don't forget your bed maps. Minus four plus 13, I think that's nine. So we're gonna do the absolute value of that. That's simple, nine. Look at this one. Minus six minus a minus nine is plus nine. So if you do that one, you're gonna end up with the absolute value of three and we're gonna to have to add that. So, okay, so absolute value of three is just plain old three and there's your addition sign right there. Okay, now subtract it. So we're subtracted. Eight minus 17 is, oh, absolute value of minus nine. So absolute value of minus nine, there's your subtraction. There's this, this subtraction right here. Absolute value of minus nine is just plain old nine, okay? And then finally, here's our subtract an absolute value. So I'm gonna subtract here an absolute value of negative two. So the absolute value of negative two just works out to be two. Now, all you have to do is combine all of these things. Okay, some of them are really easy to combine because of course, nine and minus nine cancel out, leaving you three minus two, that works out to be just plain old one. So that's the answer there. Very straightforward if you remember to keep absolute values like brackets.